Hello everybody, it's Janice, and today I'm going to show you how I made this birthday card out of Christmas paper. So let's get started. Um, so yeah, my paper came from this Jolly Holiday Recollection little 6x6 paper pad. And it is an A2 size card, so here is the card base. Paper came from Recollections as well. I think it might be Cape Cod. I'm not sure. Maybe Soda Pop um, paper pack. And it's um, four and a quarter by five and a half uh, folded here. Eight and a half here folded at four and a quarter. And I cornered the... <clears throat> I rounded the corners with the angle. That's the pink. We are memory... Keeper's Corner Chomper, <clears throat> and I've already lined the inside, so that part's done. Um, here is my little layer. Let's see, it's Christmas paper on the back, but I thought that the this pretty much goes, you know, for any time of the year. Um, it is a masculine card, but I did make it out of bright colors. I also cut out my little car here. My little focal image is from. Art Nouveau, and this paper is also from that same paper pack. Um, I love this car, really cool. That's why I got that cartridge was to make some masculine cards. I'm going to go ahead and attach this here. First, I'm going to take my old paper distress ink and just go around the edges here. I've got a piece of my craft mat here. Just kind of add some interest <clears throat> to the paper. And I did do the same. I went with old paper and just kind of went around the edges of the pieces here and I popped up the fenders. I love doing that. So now to work on our stamping. I'm going to use my Fiskars stamp press. And this is a Hero Arts, old Hero Arts birthday set I've had for quite a few years. And I'm just going to add these um, happy birthday balloons. And I know that I, the whole idea was I wanted it to look like the balloons were attached to the car. So I just basically use my little grid here. This is what I love about this stamp press is it has a grid so that you can stamp things nice and straight and align them how you want. So I'm going to take that off because I know where I want to use it using that using the grid as a point of reference just want to see okay now we are going to heat and gloss but I'm going to use black pigment ink from Colorbox and we need clear embossing powder sorry I just bought the camera Ready, got my crossing. Alright. So pigment ink is basically um, the ink that has the longest open time, uh, wet time, I guess is what you could say. It's wet for the longest and sticky so that um, 
the, um, so that the embossing powder can stick to it. So that's why it's so good for embossing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to This tool has powder in it. It keeps your powder from sticking, from not sticking to other places. And try to line it up. to buy different colored embossing powders, but I really do prefer to use, just use clear on, clear embossing powder on colored pigment inks, for the most part. Um, I, I do like silver and gold and metallic colored embossing powders, <clears throat> and white is really nice to have too. Okay, so now we're going to heat this. Just a little itty bitty backgrounds <clears throat> um, stamp I've had in my collection for a very long time. I got it quite some time ago from Stampin' Up. And so I'm just basically my whole idea was kind of like a parade with the confetti falling all around the car. Now you could do this with clear, oops, sorry again, um, you could do this with clear embossing powder and then the white would just show through, but I really like the look of the white on the white paper and it won't be white very long. Stress the paper. We're gonna take our um, let's see what colors I used. Okay, so I used my spiced marmalade first to do the 
every other balloon. And a water pen. And I'm not going to use very much water. I'm just going to do very quick. And I went out of the line there, but that's okay. I don't want to add too much water because this is not watercolor paper. Just make it real quick. And then I just cleaned off my um, water brush on my pajama pants. <laughs> I like to craft first thing in the morning before anybody else wakes up. Even though my son's already up, surprisingly enough. And that's it. Okay, clean this off. And the colors I used were Broken China, Barn Door, and Spiced Marmalade. And then the last thing we want to do to this is with our old paper. Well, almost. A couple more details here. I want to go and make the confetti pop. this layer to the card base. take this is just a piece of this black paper that has kind of a metallic -y finish to it to the bottom and this is basically I just wanted to have something to anchor our focal point down oh that's a lot of glue a lot of glue it's okay And then we're going to cut the excess off in the back. That's it. Oops. And then we'll stick that right there. And I did pop that up. Some of my fun fun pop dots, pop or dimensionals, whatever you like to call them. And there we have it. Now my last detail was that I added my new, probably one of my new favorite things is this Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. It has glitter in it. You do have to shake it a little bit to get the glitter in there. But if you don't shake it, then it 
It's just kind of like glossy accents. I really, really like it. I need to go buy the gold. There's one that has gold um, glitter in it. This one's supposed to be the silver. So um, I don't really shake it that much because I just like just a touch of glitter. And this takes a while to dry, so don't think you're going to do this and mail your card out immediately. Just let it dry. I would let it dry overnight or, you know, all day since I'm doing this now. It'll be dry by this afternoon. It'll be fine. And I did the same thing. I added dimension to the hubcaps and things like that. But um, there it is. So thank you for... Oh, you know what? Before I say thank you for watching, I also added just a line around the edges. And just to give it an additional finishing touch and I don't measure I just simply follow the edge there and if it's irregular I think it's cool because it gives it a really neat um, look and sometimes I make them squiggly on purpose But you could use a ruler if you prefer. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.